हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलिट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो मैं आप सबका एक बार फिर से आपके अपने चैनल जैकलिट में स्वागत करता हूं दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द एक्सपेक्टेड कट ऑफ फॉर द यूजीसी नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर सो दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन द एनालिसिस आफ्टर योर आंसर कीज आर आउट सो योर रिस्पांस शीट्स आर आउट नाउ वी हैव टू डिस्कस एज आई सेड व्हाट विल बी द एक्सपेक्टेड कट ऑफ एज पर आवर एनालिसिस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so guys let me tell you it is not all about the expected cut off we should know what the cut off depends on so cut off depends on the four important factors you must know number 1 is the total number of applicants applied in the subject so we are concerned about the environmental science paper so how many students have applied and appeared for this exam for this subject that will also decide the cut off percentage if you don't know the 6% rule for the ugc net jrf and ugc net ls then you can check the link given in the i button to know why number of applicants matter in the cut off percentage second thing is difficulty level of the exam so after analyzing the response sheet which i have got from the students then i can say that yes like always 15 questions so this time it is around 15 to 20 questions were out of the difficulty level that means very difficult level you can say but it was not that it was completely out of level so 85 questions around were from the questions and revision discussed in the revision video where we have discussed in the quizzes so it is not that whole paper was difficult so only 15 to 20 were the question coming out of the box but here no need to worry about that next thing is previous years cut off trends yes these are also very important factor in order to tell us that what can be the expected cut off for this year that means the previous years cut off for the paper that is environmental science we are talking about next is considering both paper 1 and paper 2 because we all know the combined mark the combined percentage will be called as the cut off percentage so 50 questions from paper 1 100 questions from paper 2 all 150 questions will be considered for calculating the cut off so all these things you have to keep in mind while considering for the cut off so now let's move on to the next slide so here i have made a table for you all that we have to compare with the last cut off that is december 2021 and june 2022 cycle for the environmental science paper and then only we can know that how much the cut off goes so it will give you an idea after that i'll be telling the expected cut off for december 2022 that is the march 2023 exam which took place so here last time what happened is for the general category or unreserved category the net ls cut off mark was 188 marks and net jrf mark was 206 for the ews category the ls mark was 174 cut off and 194 was the net jrf mark similarly for the obc candidates net ls qualifying marks was 176 and 194 was the net jrf mark similar to the jrf mark of the ews students next is coming to the sc category students for them net ls category was 164 cut off and net jrf 182 was the cut off similarly for the st candidates net ls cut off was 158 marks and net jrf was 176 marks so you can see this is the trend and it was the maximum cut off which went for the environmental science paper it is the last term and now we will know the expected cut off for this year paper so that you can be able to know how much it can go this is just our prediction as i am repeatedly saying for as for me net ls category general category cut off this time may go to 180 180 marks if you are scoring or more it is well and good net jrf will be 186 or 186 plus similarly for the ews category the net ls cut off may go 166 so because there is a dip i can see in the cut off which will go this time we are hoping for that and 174 will be the cut off for the jrf expected cut off as per ourselves for the ews category and 168 for the obc category net ls and 174 same as the ews category for the net jrf for obc candidates sc category the cut off may go 156 or 156 plus for the net ls 
and 162 or 162 plus it can go for net JRF. Similarly, for the ST candidates, the cutoff may go 150 plus for the net LS and 158 plus for the JRF students. So this is the prediction which we have made after analyzing the paper response sheet and I will clear all these things so that it will be easy for you to see this cutoff expected cutoff. So here this table you can see here what is the expected cutoff as per the Zaclit analysis for this year and this is just a prediction guys no need to worry and now I will tell you about the some of the questions which are creating problem that is we are having doubt because this time also there are so many confusion in the answer key and sometime it is giving question is wrong sometime answer key is wrong this is not at all good and we were hoping that our answer key which we are challenging it will be corrected and in the new answer key we will get the correct answer for the challenge question which we are doing. So that destruction of the ocean floor occurs at convergent plane boundary but answer key shows that it is divergent plate boundary. So this is a wrong question answer solution given. So this is a doubt and next thing is that is salt concentration in the seawater that is actually 3.5% will be correct not 35% I am telling it is 3.5% 100% sure. And next thing is that the dam and the river matching also it is having a confusion. So here I will clear this thing. So for that dam it will be Pong dam which will be on which river? Pong dam will be on the BS river. So it will match with BS and similarly for the Maithun dam which is in Jharkhand it will match with the Barakar river. So these two things will match. And similarly in the reading comprehension also some of the confusion are there but no need to worry and you also no need to go for the answer key challenge and simply waste your money because already many students have given the answer key challenge and you all will be getting the benefits no need to spend your money so it will be revised and you all will be getting the marks if it is connected so if it is dropped you are not getting the marks but if it is revised then all will be getting the marks and this is purely depending upon the UGC what it will do. So now it is time to pray and wait for the final answer key and results are going to be announced soon I hope within one week maximum or 10 days. So see you guys in our next video don't forget to subscribe the channel to get all further updates keep smiling and believe in yourself.